Well, fur babies might be the costume of choice this Halloween, simply for a little bit of warmth. Yeah, when your kids out out the door this evening, we hope they get a lot of treats, but Mother Nature is going to be handing out a chilly trick. Our Bill Hudson's live outside the governor's residence in St. Paul right now, so nothing's going to melt in your hand or in your bag tonight, right, Bill? Chocolate is safe tonight, Frank. Yeah, that's not going to melt. Uh, take it, uh, take it from me. Now, this is always a fun tradition, of course, at the governor's residence. They just opened the gates here about uh, 10 minutes ago, but already 50 to maybe 100 kids and their parents are coming through, greeting the governor, and uh, of course, going through the line where they've got just this amazing uh, collection of uh, free uh, candy and caramels, chocolates, even glow sticks to keep the kids safe here uh, at the governor's residence. This isn't a night when you're going to see a lot of Cinderella's. Uh, this is better fit for maybe a polar bear costume. You're going to want to dress in extra layers because the temperature at trick or treat time, right around the freezing mark. It's first Halloween. <laughs> for nine month old Tyler Perkins Jr., fur just might be his best friend tonight. His first Halloween promises to be one of the coldest. He's going to be a baby wolf, and his dad's going to be the big wolf. wolf. Yeah, I'm wolf a, as well. Yeah. The wolf pack. Wolf pack, yeah, exactly. After a string of warmer than normal October 31sts, last year was a balmy 58, there will be frost on the pumpkins tonight. So if we warm no more, this is the coldest since 1996. I think CCO we'll meteorologist Chris Schaefer tells us the average high this day is around 51 degrees. It will struggle to get above freezing. So for all the little ghosts and goblins out on Prowl, dress for it. Andy alone won't fuel the fire. The funny thing is, the more people I've talked to, I don't think the kids care because they're bolting from house to house. They're probably sweating anyway. It's the parents that walk along with them and the poor person that has to open the door 50 times hearing trick or treat with that cold they are rushing in. For little Tyler, it might be a little too cold to be out. Time to switch to Plan B, some indoor treats at the Mall of America. Personally, me, I say yes outside. But since it's going to be indoors, it's fine. But outside, yes, yeah. for me. <laughs> we don't want him to get sick. But to keep it all into perspective, rewind the calendar just 26 years ago tonight. Most would rather deal with the cold than a surprise Halloween blizzard. And you'll remember there was an 8-inch snowfall on Halloween. It ended up to be a 28-inch snowfall, that great Halloween blizzard, of course. Uh, they tell us that uh, the gates here are going to stay open until about 7 o'clock tonight, so uh, they have enough candy for about 1,000 people, all kinds of donated candy. They've got apples, apple cider from local orchards. They've got nut goodies and nut rolls and uh, chocolates and caramels. The governor's greeting everybody that comes through this line, Frank, and uh, the cutest costume so far that I saw was a, a miniature Nordy, the uh, wild mascot. Oh, cute. cute. <laughs> Fun. Well, they play tonight, so that's very, very appropriate cute. as well. Yep. Very nice. Thanks, Bill. You're probably going to the game afterwards, there right? There you go. All right. <laughs> Thank you.